We're here at Neshaminy High School on the first day of the teacher strike. Instead of reporting to the classrooms this morning, the teachers are out here on the picket line protesting a four-year contract impasse. What do you think it's going to take to end this impasse? To get back to the table. First and foremost, we've got to get back to the table. Uh, we hope that the board will reconsider its position about canceling the two sessions that we had scheduled for this month. What, what is the mood in the ne negotiations? Do you think that getting back to the table you'll be able to settle a contract? Well, you're not going to settle it until you get back to the table. I mean, that, that's the first thing. Um, beyond that, why uh, the board just needs to change its, its take-it-or-leave-it demeanor, which has basically been their uh, um, position since day one of these negotiations. Um, we're reasonable people. Uh, and and uh, we understand, you know, the economic times that we live in. Um, we've offered numerous concessions on a whole host of issues, concessions that will save the district millions of dollars. Um, we uh, continue to be willing to be uh, as flexible as we need to, um, but we uh, we believe that the the offer that we have on on the table. Uh, an offer that we, we made on November the 1st is one that the, the district can absolutely afford. So how do you think that this is um, affecting the community? It's upsetting. It's upsetting to everyone, uh, including uh, our members, uh, many of whom, like myself, live in the Neshaminy School District. What brought you out here to the picket line today? Well, being a board member, I wanted to see exactly what was going on. I've been driving around a few of the uh, schools in our district to see, to see you know exactly you know what the teachers are doing, hoping everything is calm, which everything is, which is you know a positive thing. Hate to see the, uh, hate to see anything you know get nasty in any which way, but everybody's been very well behaved. So how do you feel about this strike beginning today? It's horrible. Uh, you know the day that the Archdiocese of Philadelphia announces that they're going to uh, shut down schools for economic reasons, our guys and girls decide that it would be a wise time to uh, announce a strike vote. Sad, sad thing. Yeah, not not the way I think anybody would like this to be. Now, what do you think it would take to reinstate negotiation sessions? Uh, I guarantee that if the uh, teachers should get back in the classroom, negotiations would start that very same night. Yeah. Now, what, what do you think it's going to take to end this impasse? Uh, you know, that's a good question. We've been doing this now for four years, negotiating with the teachers. I understand nobody likes uh, giving things that they currently didn't have to give. But with the economy the way it is, uh, we, need, we need major givebacks. We run a school district. Not a cheap thing to do. It's important to keep the educational programs going for the kids. Buildings maintained. It's just big, big money, and we need help from our uh, from our teaching staff. We've already gotten help from our administrators. We've already gotten help from our support staff. They've all given back. We need the same from our teaching staff too. Do you know yet from the state how long the the strike can be? Uh, you know, we had asked, and we should hopefully be receiving all that information. Maybe even perhaps today. Any thoughts also on the uh, Neshaminy school strike? That's Today's the first day of it. Yeah, it's some, affecting some of my staff and their children as well. I think it's unfortunate that uh, there is that divide between uh, both the teachers and the board. Uh, I think that communication, effective and uh, consistent communication will help resolve it, hopefully. Um, it's really it's, it's a local issue, not a federal issue, but I'm a taxpayer in the Neshaminy school district as well, so we're, we're watching it closely. Reporting from Neshaminy High School, I'm Nicole Jeanette for Patch and Metro4.com.